The Highland Hales Tower disguise the skies. But the shadows they shall draw the spirits near. After all, <laughs> you've got you've got to love that trailer drew haven't you you've got to love it oh, danny's voice mm-hmm. every time now ladies and gentlemen we will let the chat fill up, up a little bit. yes oh hi there we go i could be the next james bond no nah, i don't i don't i don't i don't get there yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, oh, there's Dobie Sock. Oh, we were Dobie. talking about you, Dobie. We were we wondering where you were. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. So, so yeah, tonight, ladies and out. gentlemen, uh, we'll let it fill up a wee bit. So, how are you, Drew, tonight? How's things in the, the Drew front? Yes, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We had our stream last night on our mm-hmm. sister channel, Mystical Light, who is also a sister. Rich. So, check her out, guys. Stream last night, there's we were talking that. to. Danny Whitewolf from Chasing Bones Inspectors, which other great channel. So, yeah, we were talking to him about some of his experiences and things he's had through his career. Yeah. So that was an amazing time last night. Yeah, just trying to pray and hope this weather gets better soon and we can start oh. going out to the spooky locations. I know. I know. What's this here? We're having trouble on Facebook. Oh, that's strange. But there we go. Oh, goodness. Facebook's having trouble. PWI, Spiritual Investigators. Nice to see you there. Um, Yeah. So let it fill up. Iron Fire. Iron Fire. I better watch I don't mispronounce anybody's name. What what am I like mispronouncing people's names? It's usually Stephanie. It's Stephen. Remember, Stephanie is not in chat just yet. But Stephanie, I need to get one of the post it tags and put it up there with pointing yes. at it, you know. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's forgivable, it's forgivable. I know, I know. Well, I've got 11 people watching anyway. Anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about the witch trials of Scotland tonight. I mean, this is a, a very dark subject, and it's thank yes. god I've got Drew here, you know. And I, I know a lot of you ladies in the chat know all about Wicca and stuff like that and I was reading this stuff and oh my Barbaric God. comes to mind Barbarics know the word yeah. Barbaric but people people were healers they healed people and they were burnt at the stake hi yeah they are living history mysteries welcome yeah. good to see you often I mean, they weren't even that often these people were just people down in the luck in the local exactly. town and not a lot of money, maybe kept themselves to themselves and things. That's the majority you know, of the people that did get. Tried. And this is actually an interesting subject. I never actually realised this, Drew, but did you know it's also men were accused of witchcraft too? I didn't ken that. Yeah, sure. Especially, mm-hmm. I didn't ken that. I didn't know, know mm-hmm. that. And it's actually kids shocking as well. because kids, yep. Yeah, yeah kids as well got killed. Uh-huh. I've actually got some pictures. A lot of the time, if the wife or husband was being accused of the witch, we being a witch, they would kill the spouse and they would kill the kids because they thought, well, we can't have another kid being brought into witchcraft, basically yeah. growing up in witchcraft. So the kid get killed as well because they were accused of being witchy blood, yeah. if you like. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, the majority weren't even witches. That's the sad part of it. I know. And it's yep. it's absolutely madness. Here, let me let me show you some pictures here now, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to guess what this is. Now, Drew, you'll probably came with this as, but this this was one of the items that he used to torture um some people in this kind of era. What do you think this was used for? I won't even say. Chat, do you know any idea? What do you think, guys? What's your thoughts on that? What do you think that was used for? Now, I found this today, and I found it, and it was actually the Scottish History of Witchcraft site, right? And when I found out what that was for, I thought, oh, my God, Dobie's that is terrible. Place. Very good, Dobie. Very yeah. good. Do you know the, what they used to do with that? And it's it, it's so sick. And a Sunday, they would chain the supposed witch or witches 
put it around their mm -hmm. neck and chain them to the outside of the church. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's... People would go by and spit on them and kick them and different things yep. like that. It was often a spectacle on a Sunday afternoon to parade the local witches as, as they accused around the local towns and things as well. To be They're thrown smart. like eggs at and tomatoes at and things like that. Yeah. That yeah. all happened. Dakota the, the there, um, is kind of, what is that, BDSN? <laughs> the strange <laughs> things run through his head, they really, they really do, Dakota, you know? As an iron fire horse from the local, <laughs> I'm not even going to say that, that's funny. <laughs> but anyway, where, where are we? I've actually got quite a lot of pictures here now, let me see. Now, a lot of people don't realise the extent. Oh, we the... had our own special torture here in Scotland, you oh, know? No. We had, didn't do it in, in little Was it the Duncan we device? Had our own... We had our own torture techniques here in Scotland. We used to send out, which was called a pricker, who was the local... <laughs> don't tell me, don't give them any idea. Yep. And they would go out to seek these witches out, the accused, and basically torch them with a pin. The torture mm -hmm. would be to pin everywhere in their body until they found the witches, well, the witches mark, the devil's mark, if you like, uh, and then they would torture them some more because that meant they were a witch, so they couldn't yeah. win these ladies. So we had our own techniques, which was pinning, pricking. Yeah. I don't like so, saying that word, pricking all the time, but pinning. Uh, that, that is, I carry hold. I carry hold a straight face when you say the guy's name was a pricker. I mean, that's yeah. that's that, that's uh, what do you call it? That's a uh, that's Dakota's favourite job. There you go. You have reincarnated as a pricker. <laughs> What the, the protocol would be the protocol would be that somebody would be peeped off with a neighbour, for example. So they would go to the local clergy and say, yeah. I want such and such to be tried in the witch. I seen them howling at the moon or Aye. kissing a dog in the cemetery that turned into a devil, you know, these type of rumours. So Here's and a lot of the time it was to get their land. A lot of the time these the cases turned out so people could get the house next door, if you like. Yeah. So that's what they would and, do. They would go to the local church and kind of tell them that they've seen them do these things in the woods or in the cemetery. And then they would send out the local... They would hire somebody to be the witch finder, and they would go out, get the person, and then, then it would go to the witch, as I just mentioned. He would torture them. And then for there, depending on what, they would deal with them, which with the torture was terrible. That didn't just go quickly. Yeah. Sometimes they would torture these people for days, weeks, until I they confessed. Think actually got a, I think I've actually got a torture one. I think this is one uh, a person getting dunked would be oh, the that's word. that's a dunking uh, one, yeah. Yeah. That one yeah. is the most yeah. silliest. If I, I don't yeah. believe it's... If you drown, you're innocent. We, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. I mean, so basically, if you live there, they'll kill you anyway. It's... There was so many. I mean, they they used to drag them for the back of horses and things, for example. Yes. Oh, so many things that you don't even really want to say. Take well, their fingernails off one by one. Oh, so much, guys. Honestly, so much. And that was the, that was the church at the time for you. Yeah. I mean, a lot yeah, of people. I actually showed this picture that they drew before we started. A lot of people don't realise the mass eh, the witch hunts that happened in Scotland. I'm about to show you a map of Scotland. Scotland went into a mass hysteria, guys. Just about every church in Scotland went into some mass hysteria. I think it was way back in 1563 yeah. or something, I do believe. I, That's what I, happened. They, they, they just totally put fear in their hearts with rumour, with things coming yep. through the local Actually, streets, way down for the churches. They went into total panic, basically. So neighbours were telling on neighbours, family was, members were telling on other family members. It's crazy. That's right. Well, it was actually right. It, it started um, in 1657. Mm -hmm. That's when the... This is Maggie Wall. Wall you know who I'm talking about? Beloved yeah. to have been burned as a witch. She was best known for a memorial monument. So this is uh, this one. Everybody knows this one. You know this, didn't you, Drew? Oh, right. Uh -huh. I can't remember the well, old guys. But yeah, is... that's the one I do believe over in Kilmarnock. Is yeah, it? yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, Maggie yeah. Wall died. Um, Maggie Wall. And let me see. Let me have a look here. 1657 was beloved. 
believed to have been burned as a witch. She is best known for memorial monument during the Perthshire. Um, Maggie Wall burnt her in 1657. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's absolutely cruel. The thing was, guys, Isn't see it? the people that they hired to go get these witches. They were, they were paid that much money. Honestly, they were they were one of the most highly paid people in the full of Scotland was these witch finders, these witch prickers. So everybody was trying to do it. There was, mm -hmm. was a lady who actually was notorious. She was a notorious lady of Scotland. I can't remember her actual name. I know her witch or uh, our picker name, which was John Dixon. What she had mm -hmm. done was she, she knew the money that the men were making. So she shaved off all her hair, dressed really up yeah. as a man, and got herself really manly like we we rags and things and then did herself to the local clergy and says that she was a, a witch picker she could find them and she went and then one trial for her she ended up being the most notorious uh, pricker in scotland and she went by the name of john dixon she was finally caught through a lot a lot of different mm -hmm. what had happened was she was sent he at the time was sent to a uh, uh, retrieve this witch but it was a plan from the local council if you like to make sure she was doing her job and what had happened it was it was a member of the clergy or the member of the palace some either the clergy or the royalty i can't remember guys but yeah. what they had done was they had took they were actually a plant and through that they actually found out she was a woman so that is the only reason she got caught but she was one of the most notorious in scotland john dixon her name was so it's things like that, and she gets sent it's, to Africa, I do believe, in one of the boats, and totally. That's right. Well, I've actually got, I've actually got here the Scotsman, the newspaper, the Scotsman open, and it's. Mm -hmm. I'm not reading them all. I'm just going to pick one of them. The five of the Scottish most famous witchcraft trials. Right. I don't know if you've heard of this one, Andrew. Bessie in Law, Perthshire. In 1576, I'm terrible names, Chris. I would need to read the story. <laughs> well, here, here I'll tell you what it is. In, 15, in 1576, 13 years after the Witchcraft Act was passed in Scotland, Bessie Dunlop was married woman, the wife of Andrew Jack of Lynn in Ayrshire. When she was arrested due to, wait for this, this is brilliant, arrested due to her long standing reputation, reputation of a healer. That's what she there was arrested go. for. Because, because of that, Ken, there's a weird. I don't know, Dakota, if you're still a boot man. There's weird stuff happening tonight. It's really weird. See, because I've got the control room here. It's all on the top there. All the all the ticks keep going off and coming back on again. It's really weird. But anyway, um, <laughs> somebody's pressing buttons. It's not there. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Somebody's pressing buttons. It's not. Bessie also had a it's skill okay, for helping honestly. people find. See, this is fine. This is interesting. Like Bessie also had a skill for helping people find stolen goods. What do you think that was? Like a mediumship or something? Um, Probably, yeah. Good. She was charged with using of sources witchcraft and then turning to invoice spirits of the devil. <sighs> Exploited dealing with charms and abusing people with a devilish craft of source use of delivers yeast baptized because she was not baptized that's what they mm -hmm. said and she was burned at the stake for that mm -hmm. right. i mean there was a story the little the, the lady or the little girl who said that she had seen in her local the, what had happened was i can't remember name guys i'm there there was a little girl who had mentioned that she had seen something yeah. in the local cemetery and the mother and that had run with it to get the neighbour right. to give up their land instead it was her and seen her kiss yeah. her dog in the kindness to this that she seen the neighbour kiss a dog that turned into the devil and then the lady get put into the trials accused of being a witch burned at the stake, tortured for days and the lady get the house Things like that were so common in Scotland when this mass hysteria was terrible. And do you know what I'm going to bring up another subject that a lot of people did. see a lot of people that were, wouldn't go out with certain because ministers. They didn't think kids lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. All yeah. the kids get made be witness because yeah. people believed that kids wouldn't lie. They didn't know how to lie. You know? Which says, I'd just like to welcome some of the stories. I just went to welcome Stockport. Thank you for joining the channel. Uh, Dolby Sock, what's that here? I'll bring this up. Hello, everybody. Madam Galtina had a short 
body she was the people lay down to get her head see that's yes, yes. <laughs> Do you know, a lot of these people did get accused of this as well. They were the people that people went to when they were in childbirth and things. And what would happen was they would, maybe somebody was annoyed that the kid died or something, you know, something really tragic like that. So they would be accused yes. of being a witch and things. And then the, the only people that really suffered out of these people being hung, drawn and quartered yeah. and tortured and things was the local people because these people that genuinely were healers in the local yeah. community, you know, but the churches and things totally took all that and made it into something that it really wasn't. It was people healing each other, being a community, sharing things and healing, and they accused everybody of being in coffins and things and families that were really well, close got taught, yeah. took to the local churchyard and killed. I've actually got one here that's really interesting. You'll know this story, Drew. I'm going to bring up the picture. It's called the North Berwick Witches. Mm -hmm. It was the first mass... You'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know. Um, the, the, it was the first mass trial. The North Berwick Witch Trial, and I'll read a wee bit of this. The North Berwick Witch Trial was the first mass witch trial to take place in Scotland and case quickly achieved notoriety even in those cruel times, right? For the manner in which some of those were charged suffered for accused that had been made against them. I mean, yeah, it's, it's actually I'm just this off because it's it's weird as anything for some weird reason on Facebook and that's not working. In the charges against the witches, there was a notation that the persons involved had been wait, wait for this. This is great, taking part in ceremonies in which the devil was said to have appeared. Now. Mm -hmm. Basically, they were out dancing in the field and said the devil jumped. This is obviously something that they've made up, the church has made up so they can just hang them all in one The best day it is, though, way back in those days, you've got to remember, not even witches did it. Some people had the belief that if you danced around your fields and bring joy into your, your crops growing and things, I mean, that wasn't just a pagan belief and things like that. A lot of it, it drew it back to back days way back when people believed that if they brought put power into their, the earth and things that their crops would be better and things like that it wasn't anything that was done to be bad or conjuring devils and demons and things it was people as a group putting their power into their land so their crops would grow but they were accused of making it something really bad and basically well, that's all witches are doing they're going around in circles chanting and things building up the energy as sisters between them yeah, to do something, and out, and usually it's to do something good. Mm -hmm. well, this this is quite interesting because it, the Berwick witches here that I was talking about in in fifteen ninety, King James was informed that in the North Berwick, the fishing port, right on the east coast of Scotland, a coven of witches had been working against the king, trying oh. to cause his death through sorcery. That's mm -hmm. that's that's right. Many of the accused terrible torture at the hands of the Punishers, had gave detailed confessions. Now, they said they confessed to their crimes. Now, what probably happened is they were tortured that much. Tortured so They basically much. just made something up to say, leave me alone, stop torturing me. It got that bad. They had to give up, guys. I mean, I think the thing is, they wouldn't just kill them. They had to torture and get this confession. The confession yeah. was everything. So they wouldn't just kill you and say, right, you're a witch anyway, just kill her anyway. They wouldn't do that. They would make sure they got this confession. So the length of torture went on for days and deep uh, sleep deprivation, getting dragged, loads of things, guys. Probably things that's not even in the history books, to be honest, that they tell of. You know, uh, and it's all just because of people being in mass hysteria because of the word coming around. I think it all kind of started with one king that was terrified or something, I, you know? I actually, I actually watched a, a programme on the witch trials, but it was actually, it was uh, Salem. It was Salem, mm -hmm. the USA. Right. And this is going back to when America was first founded and stuff like that. And the documentary was like, do you know that the, the actually, this is this is what they reckoned, the, the guy that did it, the, the, the guy that went out looking for them, uh -huh. he thought if you burned them at the stake... And they died. They were, they were, they were basically not guilty. I mean, mm -hmm. these people so were crazy. sick. 
I think mm-hmm. the church should really. I think I don't know if the, is the church of Scotland no admitted to that now. Drew, what happened they... was there was a. I mean, you had sent me the article. It was uh, right. Edinburgh I can't University. Imagine. There was ladies, and I, I'm sorry, I don't know their names, guys. I wish I could do them the justice that they deserve. But mm-hmm. three ladies, I do believe it was for Edinburgh okay. University, took it upon themselves to actually note down all the trials, and you can go to the Edinburgh University website and read them all. Um, and they actually managed to get most of the cases pardoned. So yeah. anywhere in Scotland now that witches were killed, there should be local plaques and things going up yeah. to say that the witch trials were wrong and this type of thing. And I would love to be involved in something like that. Did I would you love know, to go to each location and do something like that. That's is there amazing. no location next to you? Yeah, there's and your I mean, village. The trouble is here in Les Mahago, I do believe that even if there was witches, which I do believe there was because I've been told there was, nothing is documented. There isn't Indeed. actual areas documented. When you look up in the Witch Trials Forum, which Edinburgh University has, there's, it, all, it all comes under Lanark and then Les Mahago. I think way back then, it must have been that our church was kind of in Lanark way or Lanark church and maybe we didn't have our own or maybe yeah. the clergyman was the clergyman of both churches. That often happened. It was well, the clergyman of a few churches around the area. So I so found I out last where. night I found out last night there was 1,258 witches burned uh, in Lanarkshire alone. I could believe that Chris. Uh-huh. I could believe it. Because um, the I've actually got a map is terrible. that's more detailed. I've actually got a, a map that's more detailed. So you've got this is uh, the kind of areas in Scotland, right? Mm-hmm. But this one, this map's the best one. Every, every, mm-hmm. aye, every one of those little things was, was like a group of witches. I, it wasn't just, it didn't represent just one witch, it was like maybe 10 mm-hmm. or 20. And the truth was, guys, it was probably uh, maybe a, one family and the ladies would be the ones that would be, like, dancing around and empowering themselves. You know, like, to, be, no. to be honest, witchcraft, in my opinion, must have started way, way back with groups of women who empowered each other through ritual, which only really means, ritual only really means an honouring. Right. What you're doing is you're honouring like the moon, you're honouring the energy, you're honouring the energy around you that you can use for good. Yeah, fair enough, you can also use it for bad, of course you can, there's bad and good and everything. But I I do believe way back then these ladies, all they were doing was working with the moon and the the circles of life, the cycles of the seasons and things to help grow their crops, do everything that it shows you in the pagan ways that you're meant to do in the seasons. And people away back then decided to look at it as something bad because of the mass hysteria. It was bad. Yeah. Everything was bad the then. Did it themselves. I, look, yeah. everything was bad then. And I will say this, and I, I don't really care if I know him, to, to be purely honest with you. The Bible was part to play in this, right? It was everybody... Was I mean, let's just show this again for the new people that's in the chat. Yeah. Just ladies and gentlemen, for the new people that's in the chat, that this was in like the 1500s. The I, I mean, you would have maybe six or seven women chained outside a church with this These on. People were innocent, guys. I mean, it's terrible. Well, maybe say two people amongst the thousands were maybe had bad intent in their head or something. Say that just to go run away, okay. Think about it, two people, even say ten people out of the thousands were bad and maybe deserved to be thrown in jail or something. They did not deserve that. It's been these ladies were innocent and they were so peace-loving. I mean, witches really are the peace-loving people. We work with Mother Earth. We try and work with the moon, the sun, the energies that's around us, the seasons. Not once would I think you're doing something bad against anybody. I maybe ask for the earth to give people their karma that they deserve and things, but that's not wishing them Look, wrong. That's just I, wishing I mean, them their karma, even for good things. There maybe, there maybe was a few that maybe, maybe Abuse practiced that, the dark arts, like maybe Satan worshipping and stuff like that. 
But probably pe- even, and the chances that are that it's yeah, noble people though, because the noble people would probably do things like that to get more land, yeah. thinking they can go give their soul to the devil, to the demons, to whatever. So the chances are that these people were the noble people that was doing wrong. You know? Hi. And it's not just that, T. The Bible does have a big part to play in it. I mean, because it didn't go yeah. by the word of their book. You know what the world's That's like it. today with people that don't go by the word of certain books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've got another picture in here. Let me see if I could. I've got this one here. This is quite an interesting one, Drew. The Witches of Faith. Witches of Faith. Right. right. Hey, 1560 to 1710. I'm just wondering if that's maybe the tri- one of the trials that that John Dixon was in because it, what it what the, the one I researched was it says which the 1662 he was active. That's John that's Dixon. Which is the faith? Elgin. It was Elgin. Yeah. Spiny Palace was where he kind of got noticed mm. if you like and then was sent out to find all these witches. So well, he she she turned out it turned out to be a woman, guys. That's what the story I was telling you so even i would love to, i mean the the one that i've seen it did show you these churches and things i mean some of them are in ruins but you can still visit these locations so it would be good to maybe even go see them in me as a witch today of. i could go yep. and say look i'm so sorry to use getting punished for something that even if he's were practicing was full of love and peace you do realize that he's have have now have had a pardon Maybe it's something we could do here at Go Squad Scotland is Aye. go to these places and let these people know that they have been pardoned. You know? We could actually we could actually start going that's a good idea, Drew. We could actually can run through all the, the places that these people have been drowned, burned, hung. And we actually look for the places. I would let I'm definitely want to go here. I mean, that's yeah, definitely sure. a big one. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. I mean, obviously that's that's Maggie Wall. Died 1657 during the Persia, burnt as a witch. I mean, if you burnt you, I suppose there wouldn't be much left of you, so the must as remains must be in the ground there. I mean, think about it. A lot of the hysteria came from England as well, because England was getting it in there. It, 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 well, think yeah. about the, what was going on in England at the time. I mean, the kings and everything were all arguing Did over you know? land and things, and they were Did believing you know? that the witches were, were doing their downfall. Did you know, you know that there was more people burned in Scotland rather than England? Oh, probably. Did you know I that? believe that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I yeah. do believe that. I didn't know that, but yeah, I believe it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to. Yeah, I think the only other place that was as bad was Germany, Germany or something. I think oh, yeah. was equally equally as bad as here, somewhere you, like that. Don't, don't you find it really interesting in the Scottish map though, that the the, the middle section where like lock uh, where like maybe Loch Lomond is is absolutely empty. Yeah, I wonder why that is. That's you were lucky to stay there. You think about it. Hmm, that's interesting. I never thought of that. Why is that so empty? I mean, what part of Scotland will that be nowadays then? Well, that's um, that'll be like Glasgow or something. No, the, where it's empty, that's um, what you call it, Ben Ben Lomond and. You've got the kind of right. you've got, you see where the two purple ones are just to the left. Uh-huh. That's, that's near Oban. Right, that that's right, okay. uh, that's like that's that's, that's Oban. Uh, and then you've just got basically the highlands there, and there's right. nothing, which is quite strange. Just makes you wonder if maybe those areas were maybe of the belief that they knew that witches were peaceful and things. It could be that the local clergy of those areas were mm. actually understanding of the things that people did. I mean, you maybe find that in some of these areas that they knew that it was barbaric and things, so it'd be interesting well, to it's see also, that. It's also, it was quite, and, and let's take the 1560, we'll just say it was 1560 because that was 1570-something, but in the days there wasn't much like towns and villages. No, so it was all that'd like be quite remote, cottages. but there would be people mm-hmm. there, there would be people there, yeah. but you've got if you notice what all they can, I'll bring them up again. If you if you look at this, what all the dots here, every one of them is either a town or a village, mm-hmm. right? And obviously that's where there's going to be a kirk, a church, with religious leaders in it. Yeah, because Some if you the think islands... about it way back there, it would probably be just like little cottages, 
kind of yeah. dashed out around like a church and maybe a school and thing. Well, most of the time the school was the church, wasn't it? So yeah. be, the be everything mm-hmm. all the wee cottages would be based around like the local church area. Yeah. Church are. See, it would be easy to find it here if you think about it. I mean, think about the way that Les Mahego mm. Church Square is set up and Douglas as well set up. Yes. So that would be probably where they would do the majority there of the was hangings. Trials in Douglas. Mm-hmm. There was witch so, trials in Douglas. Yeah. Even if we went there to the local churchyard, knowing that that's probably the hot spot of it mm-hmm. all happened and said a wee bit, that would, I think that would carry through the ethers anyway to get to the people that needed to hear it. Yeah. Because it's a shame, it's... guys. I mean, a lot of the time these ladies healed the local kings. I mean, there was a case <laughs> eh, a wee back that the king or something had got a local lady to come up for gout and then yeah. had they managed to somehow the... get her killed. Because it's yeah, really witch and things. The, that's I've heard that story that they brought the so brought stupid. the witch in. She healed. Well, I'm not say a witch. I'll just say a healer because that's what she yeah, was. She was a healer. She brought her in. And then she healed the king, ha- and then assassinated her because she was out classed as a witch. It's so silly. So the things that ladies and th- the things that people had been doing for generations were yeah. still happening, and then this mass hysteria hit. Everywhere, like Britain, Scotland especially. And the runway guys and these people that were doing good around, around the town, people got jealous of the gold they were getting. I mean, look at the case we read the last time, Chris, where it was actually in the local tavern there was that liked her drink. And she had yeah. ran out of beer and she had up, she'd went out, yeah. I think it was Lanark actually. She had went out yeah. into the local street and there was these two ladies. She had asked them for a coin. And they were yeah. so taken aback and so disgusted that this thing had said, asked them for a coin. They actually got her hung, drawn and quartered as a witch and things because they were so disgusted that she had the audacity to speak to these ladies that she must be a witch. And the runway guys and the lady, it was one of the yeah. cases I actually read out. It's on the actual Edinburgh. That's right. Uh, well, like. actually... You did a you did a video on this, so guys. Remember, check out Drew's channel because she actually did a a, a show about this. Did you know? Yeah, about I've done a few. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, you and... can actually see the articles on on the witch. I mean, I mean that's when you can go to like Greyfriars graveyard because there's meant to be. Is there no meant to be witches buried in Greyfriars graveyard? Yeah, yeah. I do believe there's witches. I mean, the, down in England, is they, they do get noted a lot more in Scotland. I think Scotland's kind of ashamed of it. So a lot of the graves are not as far as I know. But England's a little bit better at marking the graves as witches. But I would look into it, Chris. I would definitely yeah. look into it more and see if they are marked in Scotland and we can go see them. I'll actually I'll send you the maps tonight. Yeah, My mystical love and light, Chris and Drew, they might not believe you right off the bat because they went through I have nobody believing their innocence way back. You may have to go back several times. I would definitely do that, uh uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I go back several times and let them feel my energy, and, yeah, you know, like a normal ghost hunt, but maybe put a wee bit more heart in it because these ladies did get accused for nothing, guys. And yeah. think about it, they were people that loved the like. I like to do what I do, I like to be the one that if I see somebody's no well, light a candle for them and find yeah. my oil that I'm going to use, find the herb I'm going to use. To me, I love doing that, and it's it, it, the preparation and things helps build up that yeah. healing energy in you. I mean, and even we chant, like Uncle Danny learned us to say, 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 as you're mixing your herbs and things. And that's just to build your power up. It's not a call in demons and things. <laughs> but I uh, love doing all that. It's picking my I, hair, I mean, picking my oil. And it helps. Well, what, what, what do you think of this picture? Now, this is meant to be the, the witch getting trialed, and you can see how in the days where like hand drawn pictures, I mean, he's so like disgusted that. that he's fainted, yeah. you know. I mean, that's yeah. what that's the, yeah. And the it's, judge is horrified, yeah. And the, look at the soldier getting his sword, his hands yeah. on the sword at the back. I mean, and the ladies at the back, they're fainting and things. I mean, that shows you the hysteria that was around these Handle. people. And it's probably because the sun was coming in the window and hitting her, and they thought it was something that was yeah. devilish. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, 
Can you it's imagine that? Can shit. you imagine if you had to go back in time, right? You had to go back in time, right? And the scene like a modern woman looked like, they would probably burn you at the stake thinking you were a witch. Mm -hmm. For sure. No, definitely. Especially with the gadgets and things we've all got. Oh, Jesus you know? Christ, they'd be chasing after me. They'd be chasing after me. <laughs> that one's in the road with my phone. They'd be chasing That's after why me. I think that a lot of the spirits get scared when they're in these older locations. It's because of the lights, the flashing lights and... You know, like things in the problem think this is barbaric. Run, <laughs> you know. You've got to you. You got to admit that. I mean, who have? I wonder what one of them invented the Duncan. I wonder what one of them come up with that. If you drown, you're you're innocent. If you don't drown, yeah. That was guilty. probably one of the last things they did to them as well, because they took their toenails off, they burned them, they pricked them, they. Shed their skin with nails and things and crazy things, guys. Anything to hurt to get to yeah. admit to being a witch, honestly. Yeah. And these ladies were stubborn, you know. They were like, no, 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 and right up until the very last moment, and probably they get threatened with their families being killed, oh, yeah. and whatever else, and they just gave up. So silly, so so waste their life. I know. And remember, I mean, these people were them. probably more evil than these ladies. You know, yes. they were probably had more hate in their heart. I mean, than any of them. good to remember to I I look at like the pastors, well, no pastors, what do you call it? The ministers. The ministers in their days were like, Oh, if that woman didn't go to bed with me, you oh, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you like complained the one, the about me, yeah. teacher. That's yeah. what happened with the school teacher one, yeah. remember? I was reading it out. That's right. School yeah. teacher was uh, the man was having an affair with another teacher or something, and lady found out and decided to get a revenge on her and said she was a witch. She seen her do this, do that. You know, I read it the last time. Crazy things like that. See, that's what it was based on. It was evil people wanting revenge on people? <laughs> you know, and it was just the witch trials were convenient. I, say they're a witch, I need their house. You know? They were used, as you say, Drew, they were the GCs because they, 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 hey, Christine, thank you for watching. Hey, have a good day at work. Um, it's not just that. The, the guys, I mean, a lot of guys watching this will be like, what are you talking about? And I'll be like, guys, there was men that was executed yeah, was and accused of being a well. witch. Mm -hmm. Some men were executed because they were married to the witch. Mm -hmm. Some were executed because they stuck up for the witch. Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, definitely. I feel families, guys, terrible. Some were executed because they lived next to the witch. There's loads of things. I mean, the the, the most common one, I think, was the one the ladies getting revenge on other ladies. I mean, yeah. you know yourself, ladies, we, as women, can be cruel to each other when we take it upon ourselves, you know. But I think that was the majority of what it was, was a lot of people yeah. were jealous of their neighbour and things and wanted their house. And maybe mm -hmm. that person got a little bit more chicken at the local market that day and decided to say, well, she got it through witchcraft. Terrible. Terrible. See, here's the thing I've always wanted to know, and coming from a Wicca standpoint, because I don't know these things, but do you think a lot of these witches or healers or practiced wicker that cursed people when they were maybe getting executed. Maybe so. No. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe some of them, but the ones that maybe had the ill intent in their heart, and maybe, maybe a couple of them could have maybe died. And that's why maybe, you know, I, I wouldn't say no, they wouldn't, because they have got, their witches have got the ability to do that. So I wouldn't I, say they didn't, just thinking but because... the majority wouldn't have, no. Because I was just thinking, because there is a lot of like places in Scotland that was famous for witch, she's getting burned, and they're really, really, really haunted. Or is that mm -hmm. maybe just the spirits that's left behind past because they were burned at the stake? You know? See, I, I think maybe because a lot of the time what all would have happened was a lot of these women would have gave in thinking they were going to be forgiven, like, okay, just admit it type yeah. of thing and it'll admit be over, it. maybe. Or, like, okay, and your kid will live. But they didn't. So maybe that made their spirit unrested, a lot of the people that yeah. were promised things if they confessed and wasn't it. So I could see them being a lot of ill rest for that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But so, guys, in the chat, does anybody have any questions for Drew? As she is in the wicker business, as one would say. 
Hey, she doesn't make baskets no, before make baskets. before we start getting messages no, asking for somebody to make a basket. <laughs> I just kind of know about it, guys. I don't follow the Wicca path myself as such as structure. I follow a little bit of everything, but I do know about it. I know about the seasons and different things. So if there's any questions, fire away. It was one of my friends. Yeah, Christine friends. didn't know the husbands were also sisters, uh, uh, mothers, children, their dogs, the full families. Yeah, everybody, even their livestock, in mm -hmm. case yeah. if they would goats or sheep. In case sheep they got it through that, witchcraft yeah. and things. Because it was out. contaminated by the devil. Yeah. You know, and a lot. It's just the sad thing is, is a well, well, sorry, it's the first stutter. A lot of these things were not invented, guys. In the Edinburgh University one, there is a lot of stories on that, but I think they've toned it down because you're only getting it to say things like "burnt at the stake" or yeah. whatever. So they're not getting into the nitty gritty way we everything. I advise you to if you're interested in it. Go watch some documentaries on it. Oh, yeah. Go look. If you're from a different country around the world, go look into seeing if it was happening in your country way back in the 15, 1600s. Have a nosy around. See what type of thing was happening away back then and see if it was happening in your area because the chances are it probably was. Europe was bad for it as well. You know? Yeah. What's that, my mystical? Yeah. Let's have a look here. If you took up for the accused, that means you were hiding. Yep. Also yep. being a witch to how the judges looked at it. It's, it's ridiculous. Can you mm. imagine nowadays the way the world does? Could you imagine the, left? the fear in your sister, for example, that knew you had these gifts to give people a good massage or maybe to do a little bit of candle magic or something and your sister was like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to tell on you because if they don't they're going to kill me only to be killed yeah. anyway <laughs> it's so silly it's i hope it never happens again because people need to wake up people really well, do look need at to wake Locke. up yeah look at the yeah. reverend lock last year who was trying to start yeah. it all up again he was trying that's to start right it i forgot all about him whatever happened to that mm -hmm. guy whatever happened to that guy i could not tell you he disappeared. I mean, uh, it's the but world. He was trying to basically yeah. say that there was witches in his congregation. They were going to be dealt with and making it look really brimstone. You're like, I why? Know. I know. It's 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 it's, it's madness, and it, and it really is madness. And I would like to see. Do you know something? I think there should be a a memorial at every place that the witches have been burned. Or yeah, I people think that as well. Should be a memorial, even Especially a flat happy thing. Department, if you like, it. they deserve yeah. it. They need to. They need to get this part yeah. to release their souls. That's what. That's what we'll be doing, guys. What do you think, guys? In the chat, do you think we should go to do some a uh, witch hunt investigations? Some of the locations. Well, I can easily do that because I've got actually go access to like records where um, people were burned at the stake. Yeah. So we can actually Most see of the time that was. Most it was people being jealous of each other, <clears throat> Christine. I think that's where the majority it came from. People uh, wanting each other's land and things. Uh, it's the only thing... Uh, I that guy over there's getting more sheep than me. I want him burned money. to the stake. The usual money, yeah. probably. Yeah. It made the it's... power. Money and power, yeah. as usual. That's really interesting, honestly, guys. I would ask you, uh, just when you think about it, if you are really interested and I see the energy you use reading these ladies, stories, that and the, the, the feeling that you are going to have the compassion and things for these people that yeah. helps heal their energies. That's why I'm saying to you, go and see if there's anybody in your local area that was accused of it because you're intent to feeling that bad bad for them, you feel sorry for them, not sorry for them, but you feel like um, you want them to have their day, if you like. That I'd, feeling yeah. helps that yeah. spirit to be released, to go where it needs to go. Definitely, and it's I think we need, we need to go to these locations and we need to say, listen, you've been pardoned, now you can go, you can cross out and stuff like that. Because some of them that's died will be afraid to cross over. Because some sure of these people will. were mm -hmm. Christians that were accused yeah, as witches and they the never point. practiced anything Most in their life witches. and they'll think they're going to hell they'll think they're they'll think they're going to they'll hell 
They could be still floating around, guys, and that's the truth. They that's probably are still floating around. It's terrible to say that, that they were scared of their own religion at the last moments of their life, you know? There's still it's... a lot of witch hunts today, mystical. Yeah, it's just different ways. You're Aye, true. You're just... right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Aye. We're not it's... allowed to have beliefs. Nobody's allowed to anything really new anymore. That's right, Christine. It's... Christine is... It's true. We don't have a lot of education on it in Scotland no. either. It's only been in the should. last maybe, what, 10, 20 years, 15 years or something maybe that, yeah. that started to be come out that these ladies were, lead, ladies and gents and families were killed for them. There's actually at Lanark near us, uh, Drew, there was uh, four witches burned at the stake. I can't yeah, remember the exact location, but I'll find See, out. See, there was one. I think they I actually think that the place that they must have burned them is between Lanark, mm. Douglas, and Leston Hagel. I think it's somewhere in the middle. Because if you read the files, a lot of them will say that the the clergyman was for, like, say, for example, Douglas, but the picker was yeah. from Leston Hagel, and the witch hunter was for Lanark. So they it's usually... got to be like the general area yeah. that was all we... accused together. Well, see, see how, I don't know if you've seen the video that I did on uh, Monday there, it was the suicide graves. No, I've not watched it yet, Christopher, I right. apologise. Uh, the, the suicide graves, and it, that was up in a hall, but it was next to a crossroads. And the reason they buried them there is because mm. crossroads is, represents the devil, and obviously the devil coming soul. into the Bible and stuff like that, and they're going to hell and stuff like that. But a lot of witchcraft burnings happened at a crossroad right near a crossroad doesn't need to be like at the crossroad but it could be about a mile away from the crossroad so that's that's really interesting uh -huh. yeah. i do believe i mean if you read them i do go on i think anybody can access it if the matter what country yeah, you're in edinburgh university witch trials um, yeah. and read them because they're interesting and and it's I'll terrible check that it's really terrible <laughs> I've got it logged in my computer. Edinburgh University, you go to the website and it's the witch trials. I do believe you could put it all in the one bar and it takes you straight there. You sent it to me, Chris, away back last year. I was just uh, checking it here. I'm just having a wee quest look here. Case details, oh, there we go. Um, you can get right into the look. punishment. You can get right into the actual trial. Who was all witness? Aye. Who was all the picker was? You can also get into what happened to them, what punishment they got. You know? Here we go. I'm okay with that. I've actually found the map. Interactive witchcraft map. New website launched as data from the Scottish 1563 to 1736. And it's a go. map. It shows you Scotland. I will look at that after. Uh -huh. And... Um, Look there is a locations. lot around about us, Chris. I have. There is a lot yeah. around us, and the, it does also tell you on that part of the website as I well on Edinburgh, that there's a lot. Yeah, isn't it documented? I mean, I probably with thirty percent, I think, is documented, and a lot of it wasn't. A lot of it, fires and things broke out, and so they yeah. they were ruined. Churches fell down. Disasters. A lot of the cases files were lost, but the stories linger through. Through yeah. genera generation. So that's how a lot of these things have been Aye. documented through books. We definitely do, we need to do another video on this. Yeah, Mr. Love Light, I've got it working. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. I've got it working. <laughs> Get your wand out and do some magic out of it, you know. Whoop, whoop. You'll be a chap yeah. at the door with the witch hunters. Yeah, oh goodness. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on, and I'll turn you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear God. So... <laughs> I'd just like to thank everybody for coming, but we've got about 10 minutes left of the show. I mean, what would you like to talk about next week? And what Oh, bye, everybody. Bye, Christine. I need to get back to work. It's that time in Australia, isn't it, ladies? Ah, Australian sisters. Have a good work, guys. What will we talk about next week? Since we've got 10 minutes left oh, of the show. What can we talk about next week? It's up to you, chap. What would you like to talk about? Yeah, would you like us to talk about more ghost hunting, more witchy stuff? Maybe even something else, like Sasquatch. I don't know what do you want. What do you think, guys? What do you want to talk about in the chat? This is your this is your choice for if you want to talk about anything, you can bring it up in the chat now and we can look at it. Yeah. Pick maybe one castle. 
and talk about that. Yeah. We could do a bit of research on one castle. Maybe a further afield is to the Edinburgh <laughs> or Stirling. Mystical. Aliens. <laughs> oh, God. Now, you, you go, go to Bald and Bonkers, bonkers for the aliens. For yeah, we go mm. to Bald and Bonkers for the aliens. This is just, just That's just, what we could do, Chris. We could pick wow. up one of the big stately homes or something, Brickley Castle, the way up north. Do a bit of research if what kings and things were at it, what ghosts roam around it, and we could talk about that. Do you want to do that? Yeah. We'll pick somewhere. Yeah. Pick somewhere and message me through the, uh, oh, before the weekend. What is Drew's? Our brother Drew one, Mr. McCray. What is his castle? We could do research on that and talk about it. Do we have Drew your Ellingsworth? Are you still in the chat? Oh, Drew what Ellingsworth, is the name that's of that cast? What's, what's uh, the name? Ghosts in Scotland. Family Castle. We'll, we'll do you want us to do court, some research we'll, and talk about it? We need to be more specific. Stockport, Ghosts in Scotland. Where would you like us to talk about? What location? Uh, what, what, what location in Scotland would you like? Legends. Uh -huh. Could maybe we look at more of that? We could do some like legends. Um, we could do missing legends. We could just do an old type of show. Danny could join us if he's about. I quite um, fancy going on to an old castle or something and doing a bit of research and what kings used mm -hmm. to be there, maybe who all visited yeah. it, what ghosts slinger in it. Well, we see if we can find a big spooky castle, guys. <laughs> oh, a big spooky castle in Scotland. I don't know if we'll be able to find one of them or not. I think know. there's one at the end of my road. Is there not one at the end of your road, Christopher, as well? There's one just <laughs> the over end there. Of there's, just, there's, just, there's just one over there, you know. What's the that, thing is, you get to grow it growing up. You get used to seeing these things around you. And it's not until you grow up and you be an adult and you start doing maybe things like this that you realise yeah. just how appreciated you should be to these things. Because yeah. it's amazing the amount of people that is and abroad that wants to see all these beautiful things. And honestly, guys, they're amazing. Come to Scotland, yeah. you'll love it. We could talk about oh, we could talk about Rosalind Chapel. Oh, now that's an interesting right. location. Uh, yeah. we could talk yeah, about because that's the, obviously the knights, there. the knights Templars. We're actually going to be going there. Actually. Do that, then. Do you want to do that then? We'll do Roslyn. As soon as we will be going there port. in the future. It's that Stockport. Um, old castles, especially on the coast. Well, I, can, coast. I can fund you a couple of them. I yeah. can fund you a couple yeah, of we'll them. We'll do that. And things like that. So, Drew, would you like to drop your link in the chat for everybody? Because so, there's new people oh, in there yes, that could uh, subscribe to you. Um, okay. Pop that in the chat um, so as we can please subscribe to Drew's uh, what is it? Drew's Paranormal Vlog Aye, that's it's that. Drew's Paranormal Vlog guys, I did change it to Drew's change Abandoned Paranormal but you can find it through and it might not get easily yeah. I do appreciate um, it uh, Remember to tune in to Bald and Bonkers guys because we're going to be doing a show this weekend, Saturday and Sunday Um will be very interesting subjects, you know. Um, if anybody would like to be a guest Thank on the guys. show, if any would like to be a guest on the show, message me through Facebook, right? That's through Ghost Squad Scotland. Scotland. If you go to if you go to the the web page Ghost Squad Scotland, uh, and Facebook messages there, uh, or leave if you uh, the community tab. On Bolden, uh, Bolden Bond, because I've gone daft. On Go Squad Scotland, leave um, a message there if you would like to come on the channel. What's that? What's that, Chris? Can you make Drews in blue so people can click and please? My name is under my other channel, guys. My broomsticks right, and pentagrams channel is for all my witchy stuff. Uh, paranormal channel. Is, thank you guys. I do appreciate you all yeah. come over. Yeah. So give please give uh, broomsticks and pentagrams a a subscribe, you know. We'll get to a thousand subscribers you before you know it. Uh, <laughs> my mystical love and light. We should get you on one night, my mystical love and light oh, on the channel sister, for a mystical mystical love um, and light. I do do another show, guys, on a Tuesday night on her channel. Talking about I, witchcraft things, so we could get her up if he's want to talk to her. She I would knows actually a lot like, more than me. Does she know about spells and stuff like that? Because it's something that I'm quite interested in. Spells yes, and stuff. She does. I'm still waiting in the wine to grow back my hair. 
I'm sure I was just to know something. You're a billionaire. You're a billionaire if you could invent uh, a potion yes. to grow back here. You know? I'll talk to her and I'll see if she'll come up maybe one night and we'll yeah. talk more depth than a workings. Yeah. Spell work or workings, that's what you call it. Yeah. Spells, yeah. workings, rituals. It's all basically the same thing, really. Playing with herbs. Yeah. And oils. Playing with herbs, as long as the witch hunters will know <laughs> about that, so... I'm quite sure that I have enough loving energy in me that I can. What did you sit say they were called? Was, it to them. What, what, what were they called again? Witch was it the, no, was it the, the witch prick? The witch prickers. The witch prickers. Prickers. The witch pinners. We'll say pinners because it sounds more polite. It's, it's, Dakota's going to message me after this, going on and laughing and going on I about the witch prickers. You know? Sorry, yeah. Dakota, you made me say it. Yeah. I was trying to be polite. You know, the witch prickers, the pinners, <laughs> the witch pinners. Well, guys, ladies. that's dirty. And honestly, they earned so much money. They were popping up all over the place. People wanted to be one of these because they earned a lot of gold, a lot of money. It was in it. That's why the lady decided mm -hmm. that she wanted a bit of the action and things. The notorious lady. I can't even remember her name. I've got it wrote down here. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Drew, thank you for coming and I'll talk to you behind the scenes. Everybody in the chat, thank you very much. And we will be doing a live next week. Hopefully there'll be a new video out at the weekend. God, I'll need to send Alan down into a deep dungeon somewhere to get we'll some video somewhere. weapons. Or right, we'll, find, we'll find a whole lot of money. We'll, we could climb up the fourth rail bridge. We could lower them up, you know. Yeah, there's a place we could talk about. Mm. What was the bridge that collapsed with the train on it? Oh, oh I don't know, Chris. I'm terrible oh, with names. Thanks, guys. Ne next day. Probably. I believe you. But we'll think of something. Next week, we'll talk about castles, inland castles, and. Uh, we'll definitely talk about some locations. castle, I think, or one of the yeah. stately castles. We'll definitely yeah. talk about something yeah. like that, guys. Christopher and I will talk about it. Yep. Yeah. Right. Pick it up. Catch you later, guys, guys. And have a brilliant week. And we'll see you on Saturday Blessings. and Sunday on Bald and Bonkers. Catch you later, dudes. Bye.